Hello everybody, hope you're all okay today. Got some fan mail letters today. I've got about six for you. All fan mail. Got to read them again today. So, oh, there's some good ones. And they sent me some gifts and all I'm going to show you. I don't know why they started doing that, but they are. So, so what I'll do is, for each of these uh, letter fan mail letters, I'm going to pull... Uh, uh, a card from this deck now this is my favorite deck and I'm, i haven't used it since doing angel card readings and tarot card readings and it's uh keepers of the light and it's by carl gray and it's it's my favorite deck really it's one of my favorite decks and it's a fantastic deck so i'm gonna each of these fan mail letters i'm gonna pull a card for them from this deck so that's new and all. Right. Have you all got your pot of tea? Because I've got mine. And we'll get on with it. Oh, this is going to be good today, isn't it? Mm. Oh, gorgeous. A British man can't do without his drink of tea. He really can't. Right, let's, let's get on with first letter then. If you see me looking down this way, I've got all my letters, I've got all bits and bats what they've given me, uh, free gifts are sent with letters, and I've got the, the, the cards, so we'll just see who's the first letter we've got. We've got Mrs. Air, and she sent me a hairbrush. So this is our first letter, Mrs. Air. So Mrs. Air, what she's saying this, she's about 30 year old and she's on about, Dear Phil, do you think it's time I had a new hairstyle when I go out? I've always got my hair long, uh, always, since I was a little girl. Do you think I ought to get it uh, shortened and that? And uh, I haven't had a boyfriend for nearly two years. Uh, well, Mrs. Air, I'm not too sure whether it's your air why you haven't got a boyfriend, but we can improve. I have got advice for you, Mrs. Air. Go to an hairdresser, get it nice and let me teaching women how to get the hair cut and style. I am a, I am a club, but the advice what I've got for you. Is get your hair cut nice and short, maybe a bit of a fringe, and uh, lipstick on, makeup, and that. Uh, you could even dye it if you want. And I think you'll look very attractive like that, a new hairstyle, and that, and get yourself out to clubs and pubs and that. You might pull, you just might pull. Thank you for your letter. Oh, before I go off, I've got a card to pull from you from Keepers of the Light. And the first card, oh, that's the back of Keepers of the Light. And we've got we've got a great card for you. We've got the man himself. We've got Jesus. There it is, isn't that a lovely card? Master Jesus, forgiveness. Let's see what it says. You are on the path of light. Love and forgiveness, healing is possible at this time. So there's healing there for you and all uh, for you. So if you can take that, you've got the main guy today. Right, our second letter, I'll have a look down. Oh, Mr. T-Light. <laughs> Mr. T-Light, uh, honestly, these, these names get crazier. He sent me his tea light, bless him. Is it a him? Yeah, Mr. Tea Light. He sent me his little tea light. Right, well, let's see what he has to say. Oh, these, these are great. They really are. <laughs> I love it. What Mr. Tea Light has to say. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> He's making me laugh. He's cheered me up already, Mr. Tea Light. Oh, yeah. He's on about... With power cuts and that, what we might be having uh, coming winter, he said, 
Phil, do you think I ought to uh, start getting uh, candles in and uh, cutting out cutting out my electric already to save money? Well, Mister T, like yes, get yourself some candles, get them get them in straight away just in case they are starting power cuts and that, and uh, start turning your le electric off and uh, having a bit of candlelight. You know, and getting you getting a good book and read under candlelight. It's lovely. They used to do it in Victorian Edwardian times. You know, there's no reason why we can't do it again. So yeah, that's it's a nice letter, Mister T. Light. Right, let's see what card I've got from you from uh, Keepers of the Light. Oh, he's a nice chap, isn't he? I ain't going to even uh, pronounce it because I'll only mess it up, his name. Let's see what he has to say. Remember that you are on the path. Take, take one step at a time to happiness. So you've got to take one step at a time and happiness will be on your way. That's a car for you. Thank you for that letter. Right, our third letter. Mrs. Pushbike. <laughs> she hasn't sent me out, but Mrs. Pushbike. Oh, with a name like that, I'm going to sing it. Riding along on my pushbike, honey. Made for two, you look so pretty. You were riding along, <laughs> riding along on my pushback. Sorry for that, Mrs. Pushback. I, I couldn't resist that. I couldn't resist that. I really couldn't. Right, what what you have to say, Mrs. Pushback? Mrs. Pushback, what do you have to say? Uh, oh, she's just wanting an angel card. Uh, I haven't got an angel card for you, Mrs. Pushbike, because we're doing uh, we're doing Carl Grey Keepers of the Light, so I haven't got an angel card for you. So, but what I'll do is I've pulled that one. We'll oh, see her holding that flame there. Got lovely red hair, and that is Bridget in a strength. And what that says, just trying to, very amateur this, isn't it, what I'm doing. Move back to wholesomeness. Recognise that you have the power. You have the power. Can you take that? Okay, I've got to move on. Fast, what's my next letter? Let's see my next letter. Bay City Rollers. And she sent us a Bay City Rollers cup. Actually, it's a, a fella, not a, sent us a, see that, sent us a cup with basic rollers on. And it's Mr. Pot, he's a basic roller fan. And he's asking me, he said, Phil, he said, were you a fan of basic rollers? Actually, Mr. Pot, I was a basic roller fan. Uh, and there's a funny thing about it, Melody, Ma Melody Maker, years ago, uh, were advertising, you know, when the when the members left at Bay City Rollers and they wanted another. Well, they were advertising uh, a Melody Maker for a new member of Bay City Rollers. And uh, I was going to apply. And my mum said, what are you going to apply here for Bay City Rollers member for? She said, you're not Scottish. She says, uh, you can't sing and you can't play guitar. So when my mum said that, I thought, oh, that's the end of it. So you never know. I'm an ex basic roller sat here. Uh, so I've got a card for you. Wasn't that a nice letter? One about Bay City Rollers, bring back memories there. Right, let's put the card for for uh, what's his name, Mr. Pot. It's a nice photograph. Who have we got there? I'm not even going to pronounce him. Awakening the presence, it says. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. All right, this this uh, fella here, he's got protection and love for you. They are sending masters, actually, from this deck. Sending masters, one of your sending masters. So that's a, that's a good one. Right, I'll have another look at me. Let's see what we've got.
she's wanting uh, this one is mrs card well with a name like mrs card she said dear phil she said have you always believed in angels uh well mrs carr i have i've been i've believed in angels right from very small always and i've always read books and that oh uh, we're going back now i'm what 60 odd so we're looking at quite a many years believing in angels uh but she's yeah she believes in angels and all and she goes to uh angel workshops well good on you mrs card i'm gonna pull a card for you mrs card right and pull a card see what we've got for mrs card that's freer phases and cycles phases and cycles let's see what that says there is a beginning within every ending illusions are released something like that anyhow i don't know whether you can tap that card there we are right one more card let's see what we've got we've got mr look and mr look uh says that uh, that uh, is worried about uh going on holiday he said he's always having bad luck even though his name's mr luck he says uh every time he's gone on holiday like last holiday he broke his leg and the holiday before that he had food poisoning and i think the holiday before that he, he had stomach trouble and stuff like that and mr luck keeps having trouble he said do you think i ought to go uh on holiday this year phil what with everything going off with wars around the world and coronavirus and all other diseases we have and flu and all that he said because i'm not getting any younger I'm, I'm turning 60. well mr mr luck my advice to you is stay at home uh with all the bad luck you've been having lately I wouldn't even go to Blackpool or Scarborough or even on a day trip. Not at the moment, not not this year. Just uh, go to the nearest park and have a walk around there. That would do, I'm, I'm sure you you manage that without... Mind you, you might even trip over in the park, but I hope not. So that's a good letter. I'm going to pull you a card. See what card you've got, Mr. Look. See if you're lucky on this. Right. Oh, you have a card, Mr. Look. You've got a good card. You have a good card. And it's Mother Mary. Jesus' mother. And it's called Love and Peace. And it says, let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother he healing is possible at that this time. So she's healing and all. She, she's giving healing to you, so... And peace so i don't think you'll uh trip over a storm if you go to the park uh mr luck yeah mr luck is call yeah get yourself to the park you've got a good card there right i've done all my letters thanks for letters keep them coming that were good but i've got one more card to pull this this, this is a special one for anyone who wants to take it it's just an <laughs> extra one at side of me so Whoever can take it, fair enough. And then I'm going to have to get off. I, I, this is my second video today. <laughs> going to take all uh, uh, YouTube time up with my videos and that. Uh, with these card readings and that. And the one letter I got that says, I, uh, you're Mr. Professor of card readings, Phil. And I thought, oh, well, that's, that's a nice compliment. That is, that is a really nice compliment, Mr. Professor of card readings. Well, I've got so many decks. My partner's, my partner's playing hell. She said, we can't, you know, we can't fit all these decks and cards and angel cards and tarot cards and oracle cards. She said, we can't fit them in his house. We've only got a small place. She said, we can't get any more, Phil. I'm getting them all the time. I even got one or two just recently from uh, Amazon. Anyhow, what's this card? Because time's time, isn't it? I ain't even going to pronounce his name because I'll only mess it up and I don't want to do that. And this fella is 
self or oh, soul expansion soul expansion and i'm going to read it even though it's time's time your consciousness is expanding you understand the connection between all things that's a freebie for anyone out there if you can take that right thank you for your letters got to push on now and that uh was cow gray keepers of the light card readings from that deck there ascending masters all from that deck and some more videos in future i'll be reading some more from this deck the ascending masters thank you for watching it bye keep safe bye